ever since the Hollywood Reporter released that article about the bombshell news of what's going on at DC, everybody has been kind of losing their minds. The internet has been turned upside down. You had the hashtag trending fire James Gunn because word was out that he was going to reset everything. The slate was going to be clean. You had Wonder Woman 3 was canceled. Jason Momoa was going to be rebranded as Lobo and no longer would be Aquaman. Man of Steel 2 was no longer going to be moving forward. Black Adam sequel was highly unlikely. Everything was going to be reset, gone, and done. And people have been losing their minds. Especially anyone who is a fan of Snyder and the characters that were before them were just absolutely pissed big time. But James Gunn was not going to let all this slide. James Gunn went to Twitter and he did respond about the article. Now, before I get into that, I do want to have some clarity on what happened with Wonder Woman specifically. Supposedly, this is rumor from Culture Crave. It says DC reportedly still wants Gal Gadot to play Wonder Woman. Patty Jenkins was offered the chance to rewrite the Wonder Woman 3 script, but declined. If you go further down, it says her script apparently had character arc problems, which reportedly rivaled that of Wonder Woman in 1984. So, I don't really feel bad for Patty Jenkins in the sense where they saw the script, right? We all understand that Saffron and James Gunn, they have this plan, this 10-year plan that they're going to be doing, and it didn't fit what they were trying to do, but they did give her the opportunity to potentially rewrite it, and she declined. So I don't really feel bad for Patty Jenkins, but if this rumor is accurate, Gal Gadot will still be playing the role of Wonder Woman. Now, that to me contradicts everything that we've heard because if he's wanting to reset and rebrand everything and get away from all the turmoil from the past how do you bring back her as the character leading the way to me that doesn't really make a lot of sense but I'm not against it because I really like Gal Gadot I think she played a wonderful Wonder Woman she fits the role really well so I guess we're just going to have to wait and see but let's get over to exactly what James Gunn said on Twitter and how he responded to all the allegations from the article So James Gunn tweeted out, quote, So as for the story yesterday in The Hollywood Reporter, some of it is true, some of it is half true, some of it is not true, and some of it we haven't decided yet whether it's true or not. Although the first month at DC has been fruitful, building the next 10 years of story takes time and we're still just beginning. Peter and I chose to helm DC Studios knowing we were coming into a fractious environment, both in the stories being told and in the audience itself, and there would be an unavoidable transitional period as we moved into telling a cohesive story across film, TV, animation, and gaming. But in the end, the drawbacks of the transitional period were dwarfed by the creative possibilities and the opportunity to build upon what has worked in DC so far and help rectify what has not. We know we are not going to make every single person happy every step of the way, but we can promise everything we do is done in the service of the story and in the service of the DC characters we know you cherish and we have cherished our whole lives. As for more answers about the future of the DCU, I will sadly have to ask you to wait. We are giving these characters and the stories the time and attention they deserve, and we ourselves still have a lot more questions to ask and answer. First off, I want to say that this does show a lot as James Gunn as a leader. Normally, when these type of rumors fly, we're just kind of really left out in the wind. Most of the time, you won't hear anybody kind of address what's going on, and James Gunn just basically laid it out, right? He just said, hey, you heard the story. And here, here it is. So it does sound like some of it is true. Some things are going to be cut and they are going to be moving forward. Um, some of it's not true and some of it they haven't even decided yet. So that gives me a little bit of hope that maybe things like Henry Cavill will still be playing Superman. Maybe they just put the production of Man of Steel 2 on hold until they decide what's going to be going on and how everything's are going to be moving forward. Who knows, right? But this does give me hope that we are going to get something really good and special coming from DC Studios. Now, we may not get exactly what we want. We may miss out on some opportunities, right? Like, I would have loved to have seen Ben Affleck's Batman versus Deathstroke. I know that was teased, and that would have been so great. That's very unlikely that it's going to happen. So probably a lot of other things like that are are not going to be 
coming to fruition, but there's still a lot of questions that need answers. I understand that the new Shazam movie coming out, the new Flash movie, even the new Aquaman movie, none of those things are going to, and I think even potentially Blue Beetle, are not going to affect and have any type of involvement in their new future going forward. So what does that mean? Are we going to use any of those characters? Are they just, I mean, we don't know. There's just so many unknowns and I guess you just got to trust that they have the best interest of, again, like they said, DC, the characters, and the fans to do what they're supposed to do. I, I again, have said many times before, I like what James Gunn has done with Guardians of the Galaxy. I like what he did with Peacemaker. I like what he did with the Suicide Squad. Those aren't the greatest things in the world, but they were enjoyable, especially what's come before from DC. So I have hope that he is able to save things and make something enjoyable, especially compared to what Marvel is putting out. I'm, I'm way more looking forward to what DC is doing, but I, I can't help but be disappointed about certain things that may not be coming true. Again, I think Henry Cavill is Superman. I, I don't think you can replace him, and if they end up doing that, that, that would really suck. But if the other rumors are true that Gal Gadot's staying as Wonder Woman, maybe it is possible that Henry Cavill will still stay in the role of Superman, and who knows who else will stay, who will go, and uh, we just don't know. So, But let me know what you think below in the comments, especially after hearing what James Gunn said. Do you think maybe Henry Cavill will stay? Do you think The Rock will still be Black Adam, but maybe not have a sequel, but show up down the road? What's going to happen with The Flash? I would imagine Ezra Miller's out, but who knows? You know, I you never really know what's going on and what these people do. Hopefully, if they're smart, they get rid of Ezra Miller. But let me know what you think is going to be going on in the future of DC. If this is a good thing, if this is a bad thing, I always love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, please hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, take care.